on your most holy faith, building up yourself. Building up. So, it is important to come to the presence of God when your spirit man is sensitive. Because hmm, by faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau. Hear this very carefully. Hmm. Somebody say by faith. By faith. By faith. Sometimes I wish I can open your spirit, your heart, put the faith there and close it. But I don't have the authority to do that. Because if I open you and you don't wake up again, I'm going to be in trouble. Amen. But say by faith. By faith. Let me also show you another reason why you don't have faith. If you do, you read the Bible all right. Because they've told you that faith comes by hearing the word of God. That is part of it. But faith <laughs> actually comes by hearing from God. Amen. Direct. Because you can listen and not hear. It's like looking and seeing. You can look into something and not see anything. So faith comes not by hearing from, by hearing direct primarily from God. So the reason why Abraham them didn't struggle with faith is that they heard from God. Direct. He didn't read it. So you notice that Jesus will say that he who has yes, let him hear. And this is it's very interesting because if you are the deaf people that are here. So what hearing is he talking about? So one of the reasons faith is difficult for you to operate is that you cannot pick the voice of God. And the, the, the thing about God's voice, God's voice is that it's majestic. Let me put it this way. It is impossible to hear God and doubt him. But you can hear a man and doubt the man. For instance, if I preach and you don't hear me with the ears of your spirit, you even get offended when you have to be blessed. That is why people come to church and after church, instead of getting blessed, they go with offense. <laughs> because the word of God has come and they couldn't hear from the ear God expect them to hear. <laughs> Amen. One day Jesus Christ was, had an encounter and the Bible said that God spoke from heaven. When God spoke from heaven, the people say it tended. So God spoke but they hear tender. This is my, now, so God can speak and you hear something different. <laughs> All right. You hear something different. Amen. God can say something but what you hear is different from what God said. So faith comes back. That is why God told somebody to build an ocean liner that would take two kinds of everything God has created and build it far away from the sea. And he built it. The reason people didn't enter the Ark of Noah is that it didn't make sense. If the Ark was built in Tamahab, everybody could have gone inside. So build it somewhere in Burkina Faso. So the question is, how are you going to push this thing into the sea? Because from that time, everybody knows that every ark or shape must go into the sea. And you build it close to the sea so that you can push it. Where you are building it, where is it going to go? Mm. How will you get it into the sea? So logic, let them mix God. Mm. Ah. Amen? Don't get cold on me. If you are going to make, that's why you can come to church and fall ten times and still not become anything. Mm, that's right. You cannot become anything. Somebody took and fall once and when you wake up, encounter has happened. Yeah, that's what it is. It's not a falling. Amen. It's the ability to pick God's voice. Nothing can be compared in your Christian life. It's when you come to the place and you can hear God. Once you get there, higher, you are more than a conqueror. Victory belongs to you. Not, you become unstoppable. It's not that God is not speaking or you are not hearing. You are not hearing. It's not that God is, not, God is speaking. You are not hearing. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 
receive the grace to pick the voice of God. I receive. Mm. Yeah. Once I'm preaching like this, God can speak to you. Uh huh. Sometimes, sometimes I give people prophecy, eh? and they come back and tell me something different. And I tell them, let's get the tape. Thank God for the video. You could see that what I say is different from what they are saying. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But what they are saying is what they heard. So there are demons that can distort your hearing. <laughs> one day Jesus told the woman, go and call your husband. He said, I have no husband. He said, yes, you have had five. And the one you are living now is not your husband. When you went to tell, he said, a man has told me all my story. Everything about my life. Now somebody who is a husband snatcher, if you have to tell your story, it will not take less than one year. Based on your character. This is just a five minutes conversation. But he went back and said, the man has told me all, all my story. Can you hear the voice of God? Now listen, it, he didn't read it from the Bible. Leave your father and your mother and go to a land that will show you. Abraham didn't even know where he was going, but he left. Why? Because he had gone. 